Hello, welcome to Custom Creator. I am Danny Lee OGT. This is my partner in crime over there, OGL. And we are doing the Forgotten Country or Classic Country or Outlaw Country or Forbidden Country or whatever uh, you want to call it. It's the good old, good old country. And with OGL having much more knowledge about the nicknames and such the outlaws and the older country musicians were called and referred to by each other. Um, I think this song, which he has heard, but when he heard it, he had no context of who or what was being sang about. So um, I'm going to be right here with you guys. I'm going to turn my mic off. I'm going to let OGL uh, do the reacting and I will I will chime in, but I will not, you know, because it will, it will be a genuine reaction. I will not poison it with my already knowing whatever. <laughs> All right, OGL. All right, here we go. Who's going to fill their shoes? I do remember hearing this before. But it's kind of like hearing a song about a family, and I haven't met all the members yet. So, looking forward to hearing it with my uh, newly enlightened ears. You know, this old world is full of singers. But just a few are chosen to tear your heart out. When they sing Imagine life without them All your radio heroes Like the outlaw That walks through Jesse's dream No, there'll never be another Red-headed stranger A man in black And Folsom prison blue the Okie from Muskogee Or hello darling Lord I wonder Who's gonna fill their shoes Who's gonna fill their shoes Who's gonna stand that tall Who's gonna play the opera And the Wabash Cannonball Who's gonna give their heart so to get to me and you, Lord, I wonder who's going to fill their shoes. I'll pause very quickly there. I've always loved the acoustic guitar riff that starts this uh, song out. It's, it's beautiful. I, the addition of the strings sort of gives you that you know, tug on the heartstrings. Per se, like a lot of his contemporaries, George just has such a distinctive voice. Like the minute he opens his mouth, you know, okay, yep, that's there's possum right there. I like how he started out sort of speaking the words and then transitioned into singing. And uh, he's got a he's got an interesting combination of like um, his sound feels kind of nasal, it's going through there, but it's got a lot of dome, a lot of, I guess, backspace, as Elizabeth would say. It's a rare combination. Uh, he definitely makes it work. It's really resonant. And I like the, uh, I just love the camaraderie exhibited in songs like this, as Danny has sort of led me down this uh, path of this uh, forgotten country, alcohol country, really good music. It does feel like a family. They're constantly shouting each other out, referencing each other. And having now heard most of the people he's referencing, especially like we recently heard the Highwaymen and seeing all four of those guys together. So when he says, who's going to fill those shoes? Um, all I can think of is maybe Sturgill. Other than that, yeah, it's, it's, it's sad in that really no one's going to fill their shoes, but it's uplifting in the fact that we are so lucky to have been able to hear them throughout their uh, careers. Anything to add there, my friend? 
Um, the references. Did you get any of the references there? The outlaw that walks through Jesse's dreams. That's Waylon. Correct. <laughs> the uh, Jesse Cole. Oh, Darwin. That's Conway. All right. All right. Uh, the Oki from Muskogee. I know you've told me this before. I keep forgetting that. It's Merle Haggard. Merle Haggard. Okay. I, I don't understand how I can keep forgetting the Oki from Muskogee. But that was. Uh, it was one of his songs. So yeah. Was... All right. The Man in Black. With Johnny Cash, of course. Uh, the Red Headed Stranger, I think, was. Um... Uh, an older country singer. I I, I don't remember the reference. Okay. I, I had to look that up myself. But uh, I think that was yeah. I think that was the only reference there. So, yeah, you're good. It is funny how much of this, how much I caught up on basically just by hearing that Highwayman song because that I heard Waylon and then I also heard uh, Johnny. So. God bless the boys from Memphis. Blue suede shoes and Elvis Much too soon he left this world in tears They tore up the fifties Old Jerry Lee and Charlie And go can't go still echoes through the years You know the heart of country music Still beats and look the drifter. You can tell it when he sang, I saw the line. Old Marty Hank and left it. Why, I can feel him right here with me on this silver eagle rolling through the night. Who's gonna fill their shoes? Who's gonna stand that tall? And the Wabash Cannonball Who's gonna give their heart and soul To get to me and you Lord, I wonder Who's gonna fill their shoes Yes, I wonder Who's gonna fill their George uh, is a master of the subtleties of his craft. Uh, he's also one of those guys that when he lets it go, though, it is a thing of beauty. There's a, it's a these are the only run of the song. It's not particularly fast, but it's sort of like an ascending bit, and his tone on it is just so pitch perfect. It uh, it almost tugs at your heart the same way the uh, the string arrangement does. I love his sort of toss off. Who's going to play the Opry? He just has such an expressive voice. Um, on the channel, we've uh, done our best to sort of pay tribute to to fallen heroes. Uh, Lane Staley, uh, essentially, the channel was built on that. Uh, Tina Turner passed away. We you know wanted to make sure we uh, we pay tribute to her. There's always these legendary performers, and when they leave, it's like they take a piece of music history with them. They sort of like leave a hole in uh, sort of the national culture of music, I guess. And you wonder, OK, you know, who's going to add their tapestry to that? Who's going to add their pattern to that tapestry? Uh, again, I, I like the combination of um, the wonder and the gratitude of being able to hear all of these amazing uh, people in their primes and throughout their careers, combined with the sadness of knowing that, OK, yeah, that's great. But we're not going to hear them again. I had almost forgotten the the Silver Eagle. I've heard that referenced uh, multiple times. So I love the fact that that's the kind of storyteller these guys are. Just the vehicle they tore it on, like that's like a character in this you know sprawling saga. <laughs> like every, in uh, movies nowadays, everything's got to be like an expanded universe, uh, a connected universe. Uh, these guys were doing the, the country music cinematic universe long before that was ever a, a thing in movies. So these all these guys were so, just ahead of their time in so many ways. Uh, 
said again, Danny, my friend, I said again, again, you know, so I'm trying to stop, but thank you for, uh, uh, starting me on this journey and being with me on it because I am consistently blown away, uh, not only by these guys as individuals, but by their solidarity as a group. Uh, just, it's great to hear, but also I definitely feel the sadness because ain't no one's filling their shoes that I can think of. Yeah, but we, we do have George's music <laughs> oh, to yeah. enjoy and and you know, I don't think you know, I, I've said that I'm going to stop speaking badly of the genre of the the country music industry and how they've handled things over the years and what it's became, but I will for context reasons, point out the fact that I think there are many great singers in country music nowadays who aren't aware maybe so much of the freedom in which these pioneers of country had to express themselves within their art or their music. And most of these singers wrote their own music and not all of them, like George didn't write, he stopped loving her today. That's actually a cover, <laughs> but the gentleman that that who made the song is very popular, kind of like, uh, not as much so, but like John Farnham with Hear the Voice and I think Hart done better numbers, which I've never listened to that for reasons that maybe you don't want to hear a cover that, like that, but anyway, yeah, um, George's Christian knows and the way he sings, like when he starts from low, or he starts with such a low, deep voice, very mm -hmm. clean, crisp, clear. And then at the end of Wonder is a high, uh, beautiful Wonder. I mean, I don't even know how to say it. And, you know, so he, he does a lot without having to do a lot because <laughs> he he is George Jones. He is the possum and he is um one of the kings of country music. He wasn't that far behind Hank. That's why he references uh Jay Lee Lewis, Charlie Pride, uh, um Elvis Hank and um uh, uh, Cat Stevens and uh, uh, Lefty and Marty, you know, these are these are very old country music singers that they even are before my time. But they're um, they're, they're they're just as important to its origins. And uh, we've been recently listening to Hank Williams Senior. And although I grew up, Hank Junior taught me more about life than my parents in some ways um and, and i don't mean that in a bad way i'm just saying i grew up listening to hank jr and i didn't even realize a lot of what uh the references was about and that he was singing and sorry the laptop sound point being the these country artists raised me and you know the heart of country music still beats in Luke the Drifter. You can tell that when he's saying I saw the light, that's uh <laughs> I guess every time I cried just then during I've heard the song a million times, maybe more than that. That's probably not an exaggeration. Uh my brother used to get dog ass drunk and you little brother, you're gonna feel my shoes. <laughs> so yeah, I've um, my uncle's listening to this. My uncle John, who we spoke about earlier, was one passed away from cancer. He was uh, George Jones was his uh, NASCAR and George Jones. That's, that was him. That was uh, everything that he. Those are the two things he loved the most. Um, and then his wife, uh, <laughs> my aunt Rose. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just uh, may not be kidding, but he he loved he loved his. His music and sorry, I'm a little choked up. So, um, 
and the Elvis reference comes. Well, there it is. Blue suede shoes and Elvis. Much too soon he left this world in tears. And the way he sings tears, the bravado, I guess you'd call it on it, is um really amazing. Blue suede shoes. Much too soon he left this world in tears. They tore up the fifty. Oh. I can't believe I went right to it. I didn't know. Yeah, what are the odds? <laughs> that was amazing, dude. Uh, yeah, I can never do that again. Um, the, I realize it's almost so short either. The little um, run this on one? World. I was like, world. Yeah, that, that yeah. was what he done. Yeah, it wasn't, yeah. wasn't the tears. The tears was yeah, spot on. Yeah, yes, that's a <laughs> resonant voice, like too. A, a warped record <laughs> in a way. <laughs> Which is kind of a good description of bravado, what it is, um, like a wave kind of. Um, and there's there's different parts, just the, the subtleties of his voice. Through the years, you know the heart of country music still beats in Luke the Drifter. You can tell it when he sang, I saw the light. <laughs> Old Marty Hank and Lefty. Why I can feel them right here with me on this silver eagle rolling through the night. Yeah, it's uh really, 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 really good. So um yeah, I, I want you to have a good night work tonight, OGL, and this is a good way to start um, it off. Just want everybody to know that these country music reactions are not getting hardly any views, and that's not why we're doing them. Um, I know that they'll be there in the catalog when people do find it, and they'll appreciate it. So um, I would rather do things my way, which is how the country music scene is done, with, of course, the cooperation of collaboration and the um brainstorming of OGL here and when we come to a decision is what I mean by my way. Um, in fact, every singer that I've ever really gravitated towards done it their way. Hank Williams Jr., Maynard James Keenan are two very, very good examples of that and probably my favorite two singers. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just a little speechless. So um, we'll keep pumping out these older country reactions. And um, we just did the Judds. And yeah, it just brings like a lot of memories. And I love it. I love the music. Uh, I know that country music, I was talking about the, the songs being so short. You don't realize it though, because they're so impactful and they're so gratifying. But you know, it's like a song that's really long that you don't realize how long it is. It's um, these do the same way with how short they are, and you don't realize it. It never course. feels like a story cut short. They're just you know able to tell yeah. their story in a very short period of time and get the maximum emotional value. I mean, for me, it's sort of like. I saw this world maybe through a keyhole occasionally in my youth or just, you know, sort of secondhand when my mom would watch, uh, you know, yeah, CMT or something like that. And now I'm getting a chance to sort of, you know, walk in it. And I think the, the one thing that can be said about these reactions is I just think it's kind of cool that, you know, first of all, it's two friends sharing music, which I think is great. And it's, you know, it's a nearly 50 year old dude who grew up listening to uh, you know first 80s pop and then got into every sort of form of metal known to man like probably half the subgenres have passed through my ears at some point and is able to hear this and just be blown away by the uh, emotional content and the character in these songs and in these uh, artists but you know that is a that is a blessing OGO that's a I thank God for that every day because uh, when we were just listening to music, I was like, 
damn you in your damn box, man. <laughs> your little uh, tiny cabinet of music that you listen to and you won't let nothing else in. But now, um, I, I regret, I, I don't regret anything, but I, 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 I look back on saying those things and think, wow, you know, if your if your cabinet wasn't so small, then we couldn't react to any of these songs because we would both know them like the back of our hand and we would not be able to put them out there, not genuinely, because we would be lying. And uh, you know me, that's <laughs> I do not react to a song I've already heard not and act like I haven't. So um, thank you for doing this and, and uh, much love to everyone. Rest in peace to George Jones and the possum and um, you know, maybe nobody did fill their shoes, but but there's still there's still a lot of great music, and music will transcend time, uh, especially rock and roll, which is what this is more of than what is considered country by genre or definition these days. Hundred percent. So um. But I will add a few names to that list. Uh, you said Sturgill Simpson um, and uh, Jamie Johnson, uh, Chris Stapleton. There are some really great singers these days who don't necessarily have to follow all the roles. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, I don't know. that's good. Much love to everybody. Mental health is real. And... It's as real as these songs. So. Thank y'all for joining us. Take care of yourselves. You can take care of each other and uh, enjoy the life lessons that can be gained from listening to this stuff. Love y'all. We'll see you in the next one.